The Philips Sonicare Diamond Clean 9900 Prestige is the ultimate electric toothbrush all things considered. It still has some minor frustrations and there are some things that the Oral-B IO series does better. But if you're going to spend this much on a toothbrush, I would say it offers the best overall experience. The real-time tracking is as good as any implementation I've seen. The USB charging travel case is one of the best available today. It's lovely and compact. Being able to automatically adjust the intensity of the brush is a useful feature that helps prevent new and even experienced users from doing unnecessary damage to the teeth and gums. Combined with the other smart features, this offers the most complete all-round electric toothbrush experience in my opinion. A link to buy it is available in the description. I'll now have a look at how the features compare on various top of the range brushes. There are no set features or price a brush must have to be considered top of the range, but I've found that typically premium models have smart features such as real-time tracking and brush head replacement reminders. They have more powerful motors and higher intensity settings. They also have more cleaning modes and usually include a travel case. In this video, I'll look at how well these features compare across the top brushes and whether they are worth paying for. Arguably, the main feature that a smart toothbrush is known for is real-time tracking of how well you brush. The leading models when it comes to this are the Diamond Clean 9900 Prestige and the Oral-B IO9 and IO10. In my experience, there is little to separate them in terms of what their tracking offers and how well it works. The accuracy is generally okay, but it can be a bit hit and miss. Too often the sensors will think I'm brushing a different location to the one that I am. The Oral-B brushes track 16 zones compared to the 12 of the Prestige, but I found that this doesn't make any difference to how well the tracking works overall. I just don't get quite the same level of detailed feedback. I talk in detail about each app in specific product reviews, but overall the experiences are similar. If I were choosing a brush on the real-time tracking alone, I would choose the IO Series 9 or 10. That being said, I don't think real-time tracking is a feature that was worth paying that much attention to. Even as someone who owns all the different models and tests toothbrushes for a living, I use this tracking far less often than you may think. At first it was exciting and moderately useful to help improve my brushing, but because I already know how to use the correct technique, it's of little value. I can achieve very similar results with plaque disclosing tablets, which are far cheaper. That being said, if you know that you consistently fail to brush with the right technique or for the right amount of time, having the prompts and encouragement of real-time tracking could benefit you. The display built into the handle of the IO series is what makes these brushes stand out. It allows you to control the cleaning modes and some basic brush settings. This is useful but I found that I don't use it that often because I mostly stick to the standard cleaning mode and occasionally switch to gentle mode. You don't need an LED display for this though, other brushes do it well enough without one. This does bring up one of the minor frustrations I have with the Prestige. You need to use the smartphone app just to change the brushing mode. I find this irritating even if I don't change modes often or advocate for having more. I feel it's an unnecessary restriction. I might not be an advocate for in-handle displays, but Oakley's X Pro models demonstrates how they can be used more effectively. The visuals show your coverage without having to refer to the app like you do with Oral-B. I found this to be much more user friendly. The IO Series 10 does bridge this gap somewhat with the IO Sense enabled charging stand. My review demonstrates how it works in more detail, but it uses lights on the stand to give feedback in real time without needing to access the app. It's arguably more practical for many. I do like it, but I can't recommend it when it's the only difference between it and the Series 9, which is typically significantly cheaper. Both the Prestige and the IO Series have great pressure sensor implementations, albeit slightly different. Oral-B's IO brush handles have the best visible pressure sensor setup of all the brushes I have used. It lights up red when too much force is applied, but it is lit white when not enough is used. The goal is to have it lit green, this means the correct amount of pressure is being used. 
It's a marked improvement over the most basic pressure sensor in their more affordable models, yet Sonicare has a more thoughtful approach in my opinion. None of their handles, the prestige included, alert you to insufficient or correct pressure, but the handle vibrates differently when too much is applied. Whether you are deaf, blind or you have all your senses, this just works. The light solution only serves the sighted. So overall, I prefer the IO's pressure sensor. The more granular feedback is great, particularly for new users. If you don't brush in front of a mirror, a hard of sight, or you think you'd fail to spot the LED, the vibrating pressure sensor is better. When price isn't a primary concern, I expect to get a decent battery life, even if I am not on the go and away from power. The average usage time has gotten better over the years, with most now around one month. The Prestige lasted 28 days on average in my testing, yet Oral-B continues to fall short, with the IO9 and 10 just about managing 14. I find myself continually checking and thinking, does this need topping up again? No such thoughts cross my mind with other models. If you don't have the space or want the charging stand to always be out, then the Oral-B brushes probably won't be for you. Their brushes can be charged more rapidly in just three hours, but you must use their specific charging stand. In reality, it's not a big issue or reason enough to disregard the IO range completely, but regular travellers should consider something else. Even their travel case, which allows the toothbrush to be charged inside, relies on the most bulky proprietary power adapter. I expect better of a brush that commands a price tag of up to £800. This is where Oakling with the X-Pro Digital and Sonicare with their Prestige have got things right. USB-C ports are built into the case itself. USB cables are provided, but you could use one from other electronic devices you own. The 9900's case is very compact with minimal bulk, it feels durable and looks good. Even Oakleen's case isn't much bulkier or cheaper feeling given it's about a quarter of the price. Heck, even Planet Conscious Surrey have a better travel case than Oral-B, it's compact with a Type-C connector and a UV light for sterilising the bristles. Philips demonstrate their more thoughtful design with their case too. The handle beeps and vibrates when the battery is low and when a charge from the stand or travel case is detected. This is in addition to an LED. Thus, anyone can determine the charge state of the battery with ease. Sonic brushes like those from Curaprox, Philips and Colgate tend to be quieter than Oral-B models. Most Sonic brushes are around 60 decibels or less, although some do in certain modes reach into the 70 range. The IO models are now much more comparable, with most maxing out at 64 dB. But I still think the humming vibration of the Sonic models sounds a little more gentle on the ear and is less disruptive than the more mechanical sound of the Oral-B. Oral-B have upped their game in recent years and the IO handles are more fitting of their price tags. The design is more modern and makes use of less gloss plastics. Minimal design is very much on trend and these Ultima Electric toothbrushes are lacking lots of textured surfaces that those with small hands or dexterity issues might find useful. These premium options are not necessarily slippy to the touch thanks to the matte textured handles, but they don't give as much in-hand security as even select budget brushes do. The benefit is they can be far easier to keep clean. Even the most expensive brushes are prone to grime building up on the handle. I have found I need to pay more attention to cleaning the IO brush handle than any others. Without regular rinsing and thorough drying, the heads and handle attachment have shown signs of mold forming, which is quite worrying. Sonicare has implemented a seamless button design to improve long-term durability. I feel this is admirable, but it has resulted in buttons that lack feedback and can be quite hard to press. I prefer the more tactile feedback most other brushes give. The Diamond Clean Smart from Sonicare is very similar to the Prestige, but has more tactile buttons. I can't say I've found the reliability to be an issue, even with the gap. It also allows you to change the cleaning mode from the handle, not only the app like the Prestige. 
Spending more doesn't result in better warranties. Six months or a year's extended warranty might be offered for free, but typically it is a two-year manufacturer-backed guarantee, just like the brushes, a fraction of the cost. Having spent the best part of a decade testing toothbrushes, I've gained lots of insight from extensive research and hands-on testing. However, some of the most valuable feedback comes from other users. I've found the vast majority just want a good value brush that cleans the teeth well. That's exactly what you get with the models I recommend in this video. They are a fraction of the cost of the Prestige and clean the teeth comparably. I can't say any one toothbrush, irrespective of price, has stood out as providing the ultimate clean of my teeth. They all do a very good job and I have no complaints. Even as someone who owns all the different models and tests toothbrushes for a living, I use the real-time tracking that smart toothbrushes are known for far less often than you may think. But it can help if you are on a journey to make improvements. I know many people who have opted for a smart toothbrush fail to use the apps more than a few times before giving up or finding them more hassle than they are worth. Even my own family. I've told them to save money and not buy the smart brush because I know they know how to brush properly. Several months later, they're not using the app. If you are very committed, you can learn and perfect your oral care routine with the real-time tracking on offer.